I guess for some reason we just don't want to play defense, and I have no idea why. This team just confuses me sometimes. That's all I'm gonna say. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now. Funk soul brother, check it out now. The funk soul brother, right about now. The funk soul brother, right about now. About now, about now, about now. What is poppin', y'all? It is Man Cloud Boy Bales. Welcome to another episode of Wisco Sports. Fortunately, the Bulls decided that they wanted to take away one of our home field advantage games because, let's be honest, there were more Bulls fans in the crowd than Bucks fans, which is kind of a complete. I mean, that is what happened. That's what happens every time. There's always more of those fans than the other fans. So, like, I'm sitting here like, how is this even possible? Like, it's literally like home field advantage for them. Which is why I was sitting here like, I didn't really want to do it. But everything that I was thinking it would happen if you figure, if, like, people figure it out, Bulls figured it out. And what happened was they made their shots. That's what happened. I mean, game one, they were only held at like 28%. Today, whole different, I mean, holy crap, difference, nearly 50%. That's that's a huge difference. Um, the Bucks were able to rally in this game. Unfortunately, it just came up short because there was just too much fouling from the Bucks, and please don't say that the refs were the reason why we lost this game. No, we were fouling them. These were fouls, because every time Giannis kept going up to the basket, he kept getting fouled. He just couldn't make his three throws. That's a big difference. Um, but if you think about it, you just got to understand, Bulls were just deadlocked at the three throw line. We, we shot more at the line than they even did. We just missed more. You know, um, but they gotta. I feel like at this point you gotta figure out how to do it. You know, they they figured out how to win this time. They didn't didn't it didn't take much. I mean, keep in mind, Demar Rosen was held to only a couple field goals in the last game. So I was sitting here like, you really think he's gonna come out there with a a terrible game? I mean, remember? That's what happened in Game 3 against the Raptors. He had one of the worst performances I've ever seen. Then in the next game, he went off had one, and goes off for an unbelievable game, and it's too much for people to endure. And I was even believing myself, and I just said to, I said to everyone, I'm like, Bulls are stealing the game. I, I said to everyone, you, all that, all that did was fuel up DeRozan. And he just did exactly what he needed to do. 6 out of 10 out of 31, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, uh, uh, 2 blocks and a steal, and 41 points. Pretty much, you sit there and say, that's exactly what you want. And I even said to so many people, they're not sweeping the Bulls. DeMar DeRozan is too dang good. He's averaging so many points per game against Milwaukee averages like 33 points a game all those times and I'm sitting there like you really think that this is going to be an easy sweep for Milwaukee no now unfortunately this happened in Milwaukee which is the unfortunate part because now we got to go to Chicago and hopefully try to steal a game there or two so this is just an unfortunate circumstances despite being this, Giannis was 33 points, 18 rebounds, and 9 assists to assist to try a triple-double. That's not bad. Chris Middleton, 18 points, 6 out of 11, 5 of 7 from 3, 5 rebounds, 8 assists, 18 points. Brooke Lopez went 9 out of 16, and 6 rebounds, 15 points. Um, Drew Holiday, 6 out of 16, 15 points. Wesley Matthews, 4 out of 7 for 11. No one really made any contributions off the bench. Um, Bobby Portis unfortunately sustained an injury. He only played six minutes 
and got an elbow in the eye, it was like bleeding a little bit, and he had to leave the game. So that was another reason why they think they could have done. They could have used his aggressiveness, but not having him, I think, was a huge deal breaker for this game. On the other hand, um, some great defense by Alex Caruso. He went three out of eight from the field, two rebounds, ten assists. Um, he had like a couple steals and a couple blocks and nine points. Zach Levine. 7 out of 13, 3 out of 4 from 3 and 20 points. Nikola Vucevic, 10 out of 18, 13 rebounds and 24 points. Magic Williams also had 10 points and not much contribution off the bench as well, but it is what it is. I mean, DeRar DeRozan completely handed them this game. Um, uh, but this, this is exactly what I was afraid was going to happen, happened. Um, when I, as soon as I saw the report that DeMar DeRozan's like, this ain't happening again, I was terrified because normally you're like, the game one is the one they always put like trash. This time it was the exact opposite. The Bulls had way worse numbers than the EU did. We just happened to win that game. We turned the ball over, we couldn't do anything, and this time they made their shots and they won this game. Even though we tried coming back and rallying, it was too late. We simply just couldn't play defense because they just were making all their shots. And now they have home field advantage. We just got to steal a game. That's all you got to really do at this point. Um, but this is huge because I think they were intimidated. And this Bulls team, they were struggling. They weren't looking good. All of a sudden, they are playing on another level and they are looking very competitive and scary. Um, like the team that I thought they were going to be, and all of a sudden they just flipped a switch, and I don't know what happened. I really don't know. And I'm very scared at this point that I, I actually like think the Bulls could actually pull it off. That's the way they looked tonight. If they continue this, because the Bucks just, I don't even know what to look at them as. This Bucks team is just asleep. They haven't woken up yet. They need to wake up. If they want to win the series, they want to win another title. They need to wake up. Um, that's how I look at it. Um, but that's all. I'm not going to really say much, but Friday, got to go in Chicago. We need a big game out of here. We need a big game, and we need a big steal in Chicago. That's all I'm going to say on that one. So... If you like what you see, subscribe below, comment with your thoughts, and as always, more updates to come. We'll see you next time. Go Bucks.